Hi everyone, my name is John. I'm a developer advocate here at Arise. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a pretty quick walkthrough that just shows how to trace a Grok application. So if you're using the Grok package to um, make different LLM calls, then this is gonna show you how you can capture telemetry data about those calls and view it all within either Phoenix or Arise. We work, this instrumenter will work with both different uh, tools there. And so we want to get to a point where we're tracking information that looks like this for all of our different Grok calls. So we're gonna capture inputs, outputs, token usage, all that kind of thing as we go through. And so uh, I will switch over to a notebook and we can walk through what that looks like. Um, and so we're gonna show a Phoenix example here. Again, this works with Phoenix or Arise, both platforms use that same underlying approach. Uh, but we're first gonna import a few different packages here. This is the new package that we've developed here, which is this Grok uh, instrumentation package. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, RISE supports the open inference repo. We maintain that. And so we've got a bunch of instrumenters there that you can use to capture information about Grok applications, um, OpenAI, Mistral, uh, Anthropic, uh, Langchain, Llama Index, all kinds of different frameworks that you might be using. We've got these tools that will automatically instrument them uh, as you see we'll do here for Grok. And then we're just pulling in Grok and the RISE Phoenix package. Uh, and then we're going to add in our Grok API key. I've already done this beforehand here, so I'm not going to run that. But um, this is basically adding an environment variable with our Grok API key, which the Grok package knows to look for that particular environment variable. And then I am going to uh, already gone here and have launched a local instance of Phoenix and connected this application to it. So there's a couple lines here. What these guys are doing uh, is this first one here is launching again, like a local instance of Phoenix. You can see that it actually pulls up this URL where that is spun up as like an ephemeral local instance. Um, you can run Phoenix in a bunch of different ways. You can self-host us, you can um, access a cloud version, or you can just use kind of this more local version of it. Um, and then once we've launched that instance of Phoenix to capture all of those traces, we're then gonna connect our application to it, which we're gonna use this register function to do that. If you were self-hosting Phoenix, then you would just swap this for, you take that out so we don't have to, obviously we don't have to launch your own self-hosted version, you launch that separately, and then you would just add in whatever endpoint you're hosting that, um, that instance on. So pretty minor change there, depending on how you're deploying Phoenix. So we've gone through, we added that, and then now we've launched Phoenix, we've connected our application to it. The next thing that we have to do is we have to basically tell our system what calls uh, to pay attention to, uh, what different method calls to track and capture data for to then send over to that uh, through that connection that we've created. And so this is where our new auto instrumenter comes in. And so again, we just built this one for Grok. And what this will do is it will actually go through the Grok package that we're using locally here, and it will wrap different calls that are being made by uh, Grok with some extra information and some extra kind of method calls to uh, track and capture all that information. So the good thing is here, after we make this call, everything that we do with the Grok package, all the different calls that we make, is gonna get automatically captured, packaged up, and then sent over to Phoenix. So basically we can like set this code up here in the beginning and we can just go crazy with all the different stuff we wanna do with Grok and that'll all get captured. So in this case, I've just, uh, I'll run this while we talk, but I've just gone and I've um, set up some kind of questions, basic questions, sent them through Grok's chat completion method here, and then those are gonna get responses. You see, it's pretty quick. Grok is, is pretty famous for being very fast here. So it's awesome to see that. And now we've got this all run through and I am going to pop open that Phoenix URL that we saw before. And then as this loads up, this is gonna to go to our local instance of Phoenix that's been run alongside our notebook. Zoom that in a little bit. And you can see we've captured some of those different calls that are made. I'll click into one of those. We can see the user content input that were used. We can see the call that was made there. Uh, the model that we used. In this case, we just used a mixtural model, uh, so we can see uh, that being used. And then we can see our output that's going from each of these. Uh, and then we'll also capture things like the, the token usage, the latency, and some other pieces there. And so you can imagine, say, you deploy an application, you launch it, you have 10 users interacting with it, thousands of users, hundreds of users, whatever it is. You can see all the different calls that are being made to your system here as it's running in production, and you can kind of dive into those, you can debug them, you can see what's going on. Uh, and this is just showing one step here. You might have a much more complicated application with a bunch of different steps that are being captured. Um, you could also even go further and start running evaluations. You could uh, add different labels and evaluations in to these calls and kind of all the other fun stuff that you can do with Phoenix now that we have this information captured here uh, within your traces. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to use Phoenix before, 
uh, please go check it out. Uh, it's an open source package free to use, and uh, we love any kind of feedback that you have on it. Uh, if you're using Phoenix already and you love it, please give us a star on GitHub. It's kind of our way of knowing that what we're doing is working. So if you've gotten any value out of Phoenix, please go for uh, go give us a star on GitHub. It's really helpful for us. Uh, and with that, hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, enjoy your weekend.